guys it's me Desiree Marie welcome to my channel welcome if you are here for the very first time and if you are new and have not ever seen my face in life welcome my name is Desiree Marie and I do all sorts of videos I do mainly lock hair care videos where I bring you guys along with me and show you the ups and downs of my lock journey I get real raw and very personal I bring you guys along with me as I do my lock wash days my um, styling days and so forth so if you are interested in seeing a journey that is real and authentic definitely do subscribe I also do hair styling videos I style my locks a lot and also in very unorthodox ways <laughs> Um, and I also do a lot of fun DIY projects around my home, uh, my first one bedroom apartment, and I do fun daily vlogs. So if you're interested in seeing a fun video every single day, definitely do subscribe. I have content fresh and new every single day for you guys. And if you are interested in learning more about me and seeing the behind the scenes tea on the videos that I produce, definitely do jump on my new blog site. It is called itsdesireemarie.com. There you'll find so much uh, behind the scenes stuff. I also go into more detail about the products that I use. I give you guys exclusive codes and links. I get a little real and personal with my life so yeah definitely do check out that um, blog site and become a VIP crew member by simply subscribing to the email list but <laughs> in this video as you see by the title today I want to talk about the mistakes I've made since I started my locks like I always say this is a journey and while you are on a journey you learn so much especially if you are on a hair journey you will soon learn that it's not just a hair journey it will become more of a life journey your hair will show you different things about your life it'll show you where you are it'll pretty much minister to you so i'm not perfect i made plenty of mistakes and i show you guys the mistakes as well um i show you the things that i do that i'm not so proud of in my hair even when it's in its worst state um so you guys pretty much know a lot too but I just wanted to add on top of those mistakes that I've made since I started my lock journey um, no one's perfect you know I'm not a lock guru I'm simply you know someone who comes on camera and shares my journey and bring you guys along with me so let's just get on with the video shall we I did write it down so of course as always if you see me looking down that is why all right the first thing that I wish I had done differently with my locks when I started my locks was to wear my hair down more often when I first started my lock journey um and please excuse the noise in the background if you do hear noise I am in a room at my job so yeah the audio is a lot more different than when I'm at home but yeah when I started my lock journey um, I was very insecure with the way that my hair looked after it started to get fuzzy. I started my hair with two strand twists and um, the two strand twists were great. You know, I was able to style it, put it up. I was feeling good because I always do two strand twists. But it got real when the two strand twists started to kind of fuzz out a little bit and look more, you know, scruffy. Um, I was trying so hard to maintain my hair in a way that made me look presentable you know i still have to go to work and i still have to get around i also had like this different formal events to attend so i was not the most confident with my hair so i would constantly um style it just to feel good i also have an insecurity well i had an insecurity where i felt like my hair since it's like all all different lengths and it's very layered um, at that point my hair was a different length so I thought it was very awkward and I didn't like how I looked um, yeah so <laughs> if I could start over again I would not you know I would not budge my hair and just leave it down because I feel like your hair grows a little bit differently when it's just left alone as opposed to when it's always manipulated now in my journey I can play around with styles um, after you after you finish the one year mark you can pretty much you know play around with your hair a little bit more but I feel like in the very beginning I should not have played around so much with styles I'm very versatile I love to change things up 
I can't fit into a box. I am always doing something out of the norm and testing the limit. So I would have stayed, um, you know, according to the book, if I had known what I know now. <laughs> So the next thing that I wish I had done differently was start on shorter hair. I feel like when you start on shorter hair, your hair is more at an advantage, um, especially if you're looking for like a thicker, uh, thicker locks. I feel like when you start it on short hair, your hair has enough um, hold to 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 fill in and it fills in a whole lot more. Me, I started with long hair. My hair, um, when it was stretched out from my loose natural hair, it came up to about this. My hair is just now reflecting the length of my loose natural hair when it was loose natural. And when I pulled this straight, it was like this. And that's the length that I started my locks with. I started on long hair. So with long hair, it takes a lot more longer for the, the, the twists or whatever you start your hair with, whether it be braids, twists, comb coils, whatever. It takes a lot longer for the lock, for that particular twist to become a lock, to fill in because every day your hair is shedding. So every day, you know, the, the shed hair is, is pumping hair into your locks. I feel like with long hair, it takes longer, but with short hair, it's so easy. You know, after maybe two months, your lo your hair looks like a lock and it's filled in very well. Um, and I feel like you have thicker locks when you start shorter. Um, that's my opinion. You know, if you agree with me, just, you know, do let me know down below. But that's just my opinion. I feel like I should have started with shorter hair. Um, yeah, even though my hair did shrink when I started my locks. But it could have been shorter um, if I wanted to achieve the nice, you know, thick hair that, I, that I'm thinking of <laughs> and that I desire. I, of course, I have to come to grips with the fact that my hair is not super thick. So I have to accept my journey for what it is. Um, but I would have added to some thickness had I known what I know now. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing that I wish I had done different um was wash my hair properly like understand how to wash my hair properly you guys already know the tests and the trials that i've had since um started my locks i didn't quite know how to wash my hair right so um because of that i was not rinsing my hair out properly when washing my hair with um i was using the dr bronner's shampoo i wasn't washing my hair out right i would rinse it but i would think oh okay locks are just you know very easy whatever you know whatever I did not think that I could be a victim of buildup guys I was a victim of buildup so if you are interested in knowing how I got the buildup out I have so many videos where I did different things the bentonite clay mask ACV rinse baking soda I did so much and I'm happy to say today I'm built up free Woo! I'm built up free I have been delivered yes <laughs> Uh, that probably was very corny but we're gonna continue the video anyway the next thing I wish I had done differently was part my hair differently I am happy and you know content with how my hair looks now but when I tried different styles I realized okay like the parts are not quite the way that I want it to be like say if I want to do like a middle part the way that I parted my hair because I started my locks myself the way I parted my hair was like, I parted it straight up until like here and then the rest is like kind of jagged. I wish I had like parted it straight back so that, you know, I could have like a clean part back if I wanted to. But at the same time, I'm not the type of person that's obsessed with neatness, tidiness, straight parts and all that stuff. I never was a big fan. I used to do zigzag parts in my hair because I just did not care too much for the straight line. Um, but I wish I had parted my hair a little bit differently in the front. In the back, it doesn't matter. You know, it is what it is. But I wish I had taken more consideration um, as far as like, you know, when I want to style my hair, how it would look with the parting that I, you know, started my hair with. Another thing I wish I had done differently when I started my locks was retwist the roots only. Retwist the roots only. There's no need to palm roll for me. There was like, okay, so maybe in the beginning I should have palm rolled like maybe once, once a month, once every other month, but I sure did not need to be palm rolling every two weeks. And because, you know, I did that because of the advice of someone else, 
but um i realize now that i should not have palm rolled i should have just retwisted the roots and then allowed my hair to you know just grow and be thick and messy and bushy as much as it wants to because it really does help another thing i wish i would have done differently was left my ends alone a lot of the times i was struggling with scraggly ends ends that had little balls at the ends of it guys i was struggling with those things for a while especially after i washed my hair the balls at the ends would just pop up out of nowhere and so i tried in the beginning i tried to be very patient with the balls at the ends of my hair i tried to be patient i tried to leave it alone i tried to wrap it up a little bit loosely so that it wouldn't you know affect how my hair looked i i got so fed up and tired there was at one point where i had like a ball at the end of my lock that was holding on to like two strands of hair i was like look what is the sense of this? So I popped them off. Like after a while I started to just pop them off. I wish I would not have done that because now I'm having a little trouble um, with sealing the ends. I feel like the balls really were there to help me seal the ends. And um, But I'm like, okay, if I left it on my hair with like it being only attached to like two strands, how would that benefit my hair? I'm just wondering, how, like how? <laughs> so um, I wish I would have kept my ends um, the little balls at the ends, if it made sense, left it alone so that it had the ability to become, you know, blunted ends. A lot of you guys are telling me, Desiree, don't touch the ends, don't touch the balls, don't touch the balls. <laughs> I ended up popping the, the ends off, throwing it in the garbage. But at the same time, I'm very grateful because I have these cute little ends with like the curls. And I do believe that's because I took the end, the um, balls off, so. I mean, hey, you gotta accept yourself at some point, you know? If I do wanna blunt my ends, I know, I know that I can with the crochet needle, but I, I'm just gonna leave my hair alone. I'm not touching it with no crochet needle. I, right now, I'm not even thinking about dyeing my hair. I'm leaving my hair as, as it is so that it can grow healthy as it should, so. Another thing that I wish I would have done differently was not take the advice of someone, 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 the same, one of the same people that helped me be encouraged to start my life journey. I took her advice and she was like, yeah, you know, every time your hair gets fuzzy, like just take the, the hairs and wrap it around the lock. Biggest mistake. Don't do that. When you have fuzzy hair in the very beginning stages, when you're a baby lock, um, baby locker don't don't touch the frizzies because what you actually do is you you create a thinner lock and then you kind of inhibit the, the the growth of the lock so I wish I would not have taken her advice and taken the frizzies of every lock and wrapped it around my hair just because it got a little frizzy and looked a little unruly at times I wish I would not have done that do be careful who you take advice from um, you know, no one is an expert. Everyone is still learning. But for some things, you got to listen to your hair and um, learn as you as you experience what your hair is doing. Learn what works, what does not work. Learn from the mistakes of other people. Learn from my mistakes that I'm telling you right now, and it should be all good with you. <laughs> Another thing I wish I would not have done, um, you know, when I started my locks is. Oh, oh my goodness. I started my locks with product. Hello, what was I thinking? I didn't I didn't know. I didn't know. I was innocent. I didn't know. I I started my own locks. You know, it is possible to start your own locks without a loctician, by the way. I started my locks and I started it with the I think it was the Shea Moisture I think twist and curl, some kind of curl pomade. And it had like it was very thick custardy custardy and it had like a white um color to it and very thick consistency i started my locks with those um i also added in the cantu shea um leave-in conditioner and that's how i started my locks but if i could do it all over again i would start my locks with simply oil because all of that other product 
actually contributes to build up you know it contributes to hair that will look like it has that product still in it um, I did not know anything about build up and all that stuff I thought build up was because you had dirty hair build up is not only dirty hair build up is products <laughs> is when you use products in your hair and you don't effectively wash it out in the very beginning I was not washing my hair as I do now so me starting off with products in my hair already pretty much like sealed the deal with me and I think that's probably why I was suffering from build up I think so oh and I use coconut oil coconut oil does not work for my hair I know it works for a lot of you guys hair but for me it does not work and I believe it's because coconut oil solidifies when it's cool and it takes on the color of white and that makes it very obvious in your hair. So for me, I know, look, Desiree, stay away from coconut oil. But if I should use coconut oil, I know to wash my hair very, very, very well after using that. Um, another thing, and the last thing that I wish I would have done is start off sooner. I'm, I'm, I'm excited because it's, I wish I would have started, uh, I wish I would have started off sooner. I wish I would have started my locks sooner. I know you're probably looking at me like this girl is just way too eccentric I really wish this is how much I love locks how I how much I love my hair locks in general I wish I would have started off sooner for so long I put it off thinking oh it's something I'll do when I get older oh it's something I'll do when I decide that I want to commit it's such a commitment oh my gosh what am I gonna do with my hair once I lock my hair I can't go back yeah, I just, I really wish I would have just braved it up, sucked it up, and really taken into consideration what I love and the way that I love locks and the, the, the look of it. And at least tried, you know, I wish I would have started off sooner. My locks would have been, you know, longer by now, even though I'm getting some length right now. I'm very happy with my journey, but imagine if I would have started like two years ago. Ah! <laughs> But anyway, guys, those are the mistakes that I've made since I started my locks. I know some of y'all have some stories, too. I'm not the only one here with my little mistakes. And you guys are telling me, look, Desiree, how could you do that, Desiree? How could you do that? What was in your mind? What were you thinking? Look, I know you have a story, too. So let us know down below some of the mistakes that you have made since you started your locks. If you could start all over again. What would you do differently? Let us know down below. I'm so excited to interact with you in the comments section. I love you guys. Subscribe for many more videos like this because I upload every day. Um, turn on your notifications because if you ain't getting a notification every day, your button is broken. <laughs> you gotta fix that girl. You gotta fix that guy. And also visit the blog site it's desireemarie.com to become a vip vip exclusive crew member um and join in on the fun all of the exciting details and tea that i spill on that website because i'm always uploading like almost every day now so anyway guys i love you guys thank you for watching comment down below and i'll see you in the next one